Hi everybody. Uh, my name is Keith Norum and I'm with Masumi Sake. Um, today I want to introduce you to a new, uh, a new sake that we have, but before I do that, as always, I want to tell you about where we're located in uh, Japan, because where we are is who we are as a sake maker. The Masumi breweries are located in the mountainous prefecture of Nagano. Now, some of you might actually know about Nagano because it was the host of the 1998 Winter Olympic Games. Yeah, Winter Olympics, that just gives you images of snowy mountains and beautiful water, clean air, and of course, very cold winters, which is the perfect environment for making premium sake. So now that I've got those snowy white mountains in your head, I want to introduce our new sake called, and this is a Junmai Ginjo, it's called Shiro, which also means white. Now the reason we called it a color is because Shiro is actually one of a series, a new series, four colors, and these four color sakes are the flagships of a brand new look for Masumi products, and also a brand new set of flavor profiles that are based on our own versions of the famous number seven sake yeast. We take a look at Shiro. I want to point out that the word white also makes a really easy way to remember the characteristic of this sake. It's a kind of rhyme because this white sake is very light on the palate and it has a very bright characteristic. So you've got white, light, and bright to keep you in mind of sake. Uh, let's have a look at the profile. As soon as you open it up, you realize right away, wow, this thing does have some beautiful fruit in it. You get up first some banana, and then it comes off as more appley as you get into the aroma, and the aroma and the flavors carry through. So you're getting apple and banana as you taste. And it also has this beautiful and quite bright acidity, which takes you all the way to the end of the palate. This is the sort of sake that, because it's so mild and soft, you can have it with uh, foods like tofu or steamed vegetables, gentle foods like that. And this acidity helps carry it through a little bit denser food like chicken and pork, things that need a little bit of acidity to break up the, the protein element. So it works wonderful with that sort of menu. Uh, the one thing that most people notice is its lightness. And let me tell you a little bit about why it's so light. Our master brewers were able to make this sake only 12% alcohol. Now that's 3% lower than most sakes. Most sakes are 15 and above. They were able to do this because they become experts at developing special yeast strains to fit their purpose. In this case, a yeast strain that does a full fermentation but finishes at 12% instead of 15. Uh, some other details for you. This is all local. So the rice that we use is sake rice. We use two varieties. One is called Hito Gokochi. The other one is a new one. It's called Sankei Nishiki. And these are both from Nagano Prefecture. Now with that in mind, the last thing I want to uh, remind you about is this is a sake because of its lightness, especially in the alcohol character and its acidity. Uh, it's wonderful to have in crystal as a chilled drink. Uh, it's perfect for those evenings. Again, it's a light alcohol product, so you can have it as a session sake. You can have it all night with your friends and still feel light. It never gets heavy. So everybody get together, of course, at a safe distance, and let's come by. Thanks again and cheers.